Okay, so this alternator here, I'm going to be switching this uh, serpentine pulley over to V-belt. So I've already taken that off, so you can just get that out of the way. You don't have to take that off to get the alternator apart. So now, with this alternator, you have three studs that hold the, the two halves together. So you got to get those out. And with these alternators, because they've been sitting for so long, this one, uh, these studs are just going to crack off if I don't try to free them up. So what you can do is you can take a hammer and you can tap the casting where the threads are. So you don't want to hit it too hard or you might crack it. No. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to heat it up with just this propane torch here. And I'm going to have to heat it up nice and hot, but I don't want to overheat the, the stator here where the field windings are. So I just want to heat up this, this area here. So the studs are out. What we want to do is we want to get this alternator apart. We just want to get the rotor out uh, because we don't have to take the stator out. We just want to get this half off because we can, there's enough room in here to get to the regulator. So what we can do is we can tap around and then this half here will start coming off. Now, it doesn't always come apart this easily, but basically you can just tap this off. So now we have the front cover off here. So with this alternator here, the rotor is pressed into the bearing at the back. You can see it's actually starting to come out, um, the whole bearing. Sometimes it comes off the shaft, sometimes the entire bearing comes out. So what you can do is you could lightly tap on it and you can try to push it out. You can see that that just came out pretty easily. and. So there's the rotor. Okay, so once you get the alternator apart, the first thing you're gonna do is set the brushes back in place. And the way to do that is there's a little trick here. And you can see here, there's a hole right here. There's a hole here. And if you look on the back side of the alternator, there's also a hole here. Okay, so you can see here that I have the wire pushed through the back. Now you can only do one at a time, so you're going to push the spring down and you're going to push the brush in and then you can slide the wire in. If you can see in there that the wire is right there, you can see it moving and it's holding down the first brush. And what I'm going to do now is insert the other spring and then put the next brush in. Now inside this alternator here, this brush on the bottom is grounded so it just goes to the chassis so that's a negative brush and this one here this brush on the top is the one that's hooked to the regulator so what I've done is I've disconnected the regulator from this brush here it was a little blade plug basically right here where this brush attached and it plugged into here so I opened up these little blades here and I've then disconnected it from this this plug here so as I've pinched it like this, and then I've bent this one down and over. So it gives a little bit of room in between here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna solder a wire onto here, so this would be the upper brush, so then I can manually control the field voltage uh, to the rotor. And so if you're gonna do this little modification here, you might as well solder on a wire off the regulator and run it out because later on down the road, you might want to use this alternator again with the regulator. And if that's the case, then you can just attach the two wires together and then your alternator will work the way it was supposed to work. And that's it.